Hey guys, and I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been <coughs> extremely sick, and I'm kind of just getting over it. Uh, I know this isn't my normal, like, shenanigans, but I just, um, I've been teaching myself how to 3D model in this Autodesk 1, 2, 3D design software, and I just kind of wanted to show you how to, how to do it. So we're just going to go over, like, the very basics, like, super duper duper basic. Nothing like 3D modeling a friggin' entire model of a house with like all the, all the details down to like the tissue that you miss from the trash can. But we'll just okay. So I have this specific need that I need to make. I have this specific thing that I need to make, and I just thought it pretty much touches off of all of the basics. So I'll just show you how to do that. Now I'm in, currently in eighth grade. And, uh, so, uh, we're doing this coaster car thing, and, uh, yeah, and my teacher said I was allowed to, uh, model and print some new wheels for our car, because, you know, the bigger the wheels, like, diameter-wise, the farther they'll go, so, and our normal ones are just about an inch, I've made some three-inch ones, but now I'm gonna bump it up to five inches, so to start off, we're going to start off with a uh, cylinder. Oh. Nope, not a cone. Cylinder. Here, one second. Let me just delete that. Alright, start off with the cylinder. And we'll want the radius to be... This is all in centimeters, by the way. So, why not, like, 60? Not... Oh, that's the rate. Okay, so we'll have it 30, because then that will make it 60 um, for the diameter. And we'll have the height be 3 centimeters. So there's less friction touching the ground. Alright, so we'll just put that there. And then, because I don't want it to be too heavy, so I'll just, you take the sketch tool, and you want to click sketch circle. This is how, to, this is how to like, um, take a hole right out of a circle. So you just click on the, cir click on the surface you want to sketch, click in the middle, and then you pretty much uh, bring it out to the radius that you want, um, or the I mean diameter. So I want it to be about well, so total, it's sixty millimeters, and I want it to be three millimeters thick. So I'll have it be fifty-seven. And actually, nah, I don't know, maybe a little bit bigger than fifty-seven. I'll just do 50. 50, is, 50 seems good. There. And then click the checkbox, and then you have this little circle drawn right on top of it. And basically, to cut this out now, right now, it hasn't changed the actual circle at all. It's just drawing on top of it. So you want to go to Modify, and Split Solid. And then to split um, the circle, you want to click on... Um, your actual, like, um, I guess, model. Click that, and then you click Splitting Entity, and then you click on the circle that you just drew. And then you click Enter, and then click, just delete the circle, and then see, this is the whole, this is, uh, the ring, this is the middle of the circle, and then just delete that. And, there. Then you have a big hole in the middle of your circle. Now, I want to have little, I guess, like, struts, just two of them, one down and one across. So I'm gonna go to primitives, go to box, and I'll go length 30, nope, 60, nope, not 36, 60. That's a bit too long, so I'll go like 55. Is that too long? Let me check. Let's just go to 50. 50, that looks good. And then for width, We'll do three, and then for height, we'll also do three. Actually, let's make that length 55 again. And then that should make sure, like, uh, here, see the, see how it's, like, overlapping into the circle? You definitely want that. And, uh, let's just, and then, so we don't have to make this the exact same thing again. We're just going to click on it, and then you click Control c Control v just like you normally copy and paste. And then to get the perfect alignment, just click on 
this, this is the rotating tool, and rotate it 90 degrees. And click enter, and then to make sure this is, um, to make sure we don't actually accidentally move something, we're just going to merge them all together to make one solid piece. When you merge, you just click, you go to combine and click merge, and you click all the pieces that you want to merge together, and you just click enter, and now it's just one piece. So, next, we need a way that this can connect to the axle for our car. So, we're just going to take cylinder, and we'll make the radius like 5. No, that's too big. 3. Let's just do 4. 4 seems like a good number. And I'll have a height of 4. Eh. Oh, radius of 2, actually. Radius of now let's just let's just, just do 2.5. Radius of 2.5 and a height of four, and just scroll in really close so we can get right in the middle, and click right there. And actually, I don't think I like that, so I'm gonna go back, create a cylinder, and I'll make the radius two. Now nah, yeah, 2.5. Keep the radius 2.5, and I'll make the height. 5. Actually, no, I'm going to make the radius 2.25. That's better. Okay, perfect. And just uh, click that. And then we're going to merge them by clicking on this one and this one and click enter. And now it's all one solid piece. So next, to because obviously this can't actually... Here, let me get a better angle. This actually won't be able to... You won't be able to shove this part into an axle. So we're going to go back to the sketch circle tool. Going to click on this right in the middle. And then we want to rate we want um the inner circle to be about 3.5 millimeters. Uh, and then we'll click enter. And then we'll click check. And then we'll go back just just like the same thing we did before modify split solid. We'll click on that, click splitting entity, click this, then enter. And then we'll click this, delete, and this, delete. And that'll make a solid hole through it, so then you can adjust it however far on the axle you want it to go. That'll make a hole all the way through the bottom, also. See? All the way through the bottom. And then, okay, so you can stop at this point if you want, but I am going to add bezeled edges so there's less friction against the ground. And to do this, basically, uh, try to get the perfect, there we go. You want to click on this, and then you want to choose the edge, and then you want to go to, I see it's filleting, not bezeled, fillet, and then pretty much as much as you want it to fillet. Um, one is probably good for me. And then we'll do it on the other edge also. Fillet, one, enter. And then that will pretty much add a curve onto both of these edges. And you're pretty much done at this point. If you want it to look a little bit more pretty, you can fillet all these edges. also but that's not necessary um i'm gonna do it but and i'll be back when i'm done okay actually there's a much faster way of filleting all of these than just doing them one at a time so you can um just click one of these click fillet and then you choose all of here one second uh, click the edge you want click fillet and then you also click all the other edges that you want to fillet also and you can just, oh, oh my gosh. You gotta be accurate when you're clicking, man. Gotta fillet, fillet, there, there, and there. And then you can just do them all at the same time. And I forgot to do this one. I'll just do it really quick. One. And then all the edges are filleted or bezeled, or whatever, curved, and you're pretty much done. 
And then what you want to do next is just uh, export as 3D. You don't want to save it. You want to make sure you export it as 3D. And then I'm using Cura to print. So I'll use STL, uh, coarse, medium. I'll use fine. Then you click OK. And then you just choose your file name. See, I've already made three versions. I'll just do coaster car wheel uh, version four. And then you just save. And you can uh, X out of this. Uh, and I'll just save it publicly. Here, let me let me just log in. I'll be back when I'm done because I don't want you guys okay. to see my email. And then once you're in. Just name your project, I'll name it again. Coaster Car Wheel Um Version 4. And it's I can just put it public, it's fine. Yep. And you're pretty much done. Those are the pretty much the basics of it. I will show you one more thing though. Uh and yeah, and then the video will be done. It's pretty Okay, the video. last thing I wanted to show you guys is how to measure something to get the perfect angle and the perfect distance just click on the measure icon you click uh, maybe you want to measure the angle from here to here and not the distance that or that just measure the angle and you scroll this down and that's a perfect 90 degree angle or if you want to measure the distance just scroll down and that is 1.436 millimeters in distance. And yeah. Or say you want to measure like the distance between this and this. That would be 3 millimeters. And yeah. That is my tutorial on the very basics of using... Uh, Autodesk 123D Design. It is a free program. I will put a link to their website in the description of this video. Uh, yeah. Thanks and uh, goodbye.